Here's what we're gonna use Dragon Claw today. It's, uh, we got one, two, three, four dogwood trees. I want to go around the base of those trees, remove the grass and the roots of the grass, uh, at least nine inches because that's how wide that Dragon Claw is, um, so that it doesn't grow back. Every time I cut the grass, I have to just kind of go near the trees because I'm using a riding mower. And then uh, afterwards, I have to come back and use a string trimmer to get the um, additional grass that I couldn't get. Uh, so it's, this will hopefully eliminate that. I'm going to get where that bird feeder is there around that pole and those two rocks as well. Um, this is going to save me a lot of time after mowing because if I can remove the grass roots, that's probably going to be like a month before it grows back, or maybe even longer. So here's Dragon Call. I just removed the Ryobi Expandit from a gas trimmer. We're going to be using the 60 volt Ryobi trimmer today. Uh, I don't know if that's going to handle doing this whole yard. If not, I'll do it in two days, or I'll just get the grass trimmer out. It's getting kind of late, so I'll probably will do it two days. Dragon Claw, here we are. We're mounted. Got our cup, got a little washer, and then our nut on. This uh, is on the thrust washer. I have a video showing how to do that. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, okay, with the Ryobi Expanded, it has a guard here, and we're really needing a guard for this. Uh, I had to take it off because um, I really can't maneuver gar uh, Dragon Claw with that guard on. It will, you can use it with the Ryobi guard in place. You've got about a quarter of an inch, but the if you're trying to get it level with the ground like that, you're not going to be able to do it because uh, the guard is going to be hitting. So you'll end up about like that. So I've taken that guard off. I took this off an older Ryobi, the two cycle EX26 curve shaft. So this one's adjustable as you see. So, uh, and this is really kind of the way I like it set up because um, Gar uh, Dragon Claw is going to be turning counterclockwise as we're facing it this way and it's going to be kicking a lot of dirt and soil up so we want to wear protection um, eye protection clothing boots whatever it takes uh, we're talking about a solid steel plate here with three claws actually if you want to that's kind of a claw there but you've got these claws here here and here so uh yeah, nothing to really play with and make sure that kids aren't around it, animals aren't nearby, and we should be good. Let's get this off, and then we will... Oh! All right, we've got our right, so we have our 40 volt attached. Here is the 40 volt battery, generic battery. I really like this battery. It doesn't cost near as much as the Ryobi. I've been getting good cut trim time with that so uh, we'll see what happens today it's a lot of work so it may take two charges
So here's the rock that we just did. As you can tell, it is a pretty dirty job. Uh, you don't want to be too close to the road because you know it could possibly throw up rocks, hitting cars, that kind of thing. Um, it will hit rocks and not really be affected. Um, be careful for that, but it shouldn't damage the blade too much. It's probably like a tiller. I mean, rocks probably sharpen the the claws on this thing. I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, I can't get all these roots up. These things go very deep, and if I continue to uh, try to get all the roots, um, it's just going to go deeper and deeper, and that's not really what I'm in, uh, tending to do, to do here. So uh, I'm going to leave it like this. It is easier than using a string trimmer. So um, yeah, it's not really that bad. I mean, yeah, you'll hit rocks. Be careful because this stuff was buried. That rock was buried uh, underneath the grass. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. I wanted to show you with uh, maybe this right here. This is probably going to be pretty difficult. This grass is a different grass. I'm not sure what this is. The rest of the grass is supposed to be fescue. Uh, we've got we've got grass really from neighbors on the left and the right across the street. So. This has always been very thick and the roots are uh, probably going to, I'm probably not going to be able to get the complete roots, at least tonight. Um, or I don't want to anyway, but I'm going to show you how it's going to work. And um, I'm not an expert at this yet. This is the second time I've used it. So uh, yeah, let me show you. All right, so that one just killed. So that, so that just killed my battery on the 40 volt. So I was able to get most of the work done on one charge. I'll come back tomorrow and uh, finish the rock there, that tree there. So I got one, two, including the rock, three, four, five on one charge. Now uh, I want to say that um, I was going deep on this, as you can see, and I still can't get all these roots out so I'm not going to continue to go deeper I'm gonna leave it like that I'm satisfied with that it will grow back of course faster than I had hoped that's fine with me um, there's gonna be some cleanup here like I need to probably pick this stuff up um, since I went so deep otherwise I could just blow it in the yard uh, debris flies everywhere so uh, I need long pants on. I need, I actually probably need some headgear on because I can feel it in my, what hair I do have. Uh, and of course glasses. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I'll let you see it tomorrow. And then uh, I guess that'll be it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow when we have the rest of this it's getting dark. So I'll pick it up then. So last night when I started this, we didn't have a full charge on the battery. We had three out of four lights. Uh, I'm convinced that I probably could have done this whole job if I had a full charge on the 40 volt um, And this probably would have taken all these trees and rocks would probably have taken around an hour to do Here's another one Here's the first rock that we did this will take a long time to grow back around the rocks um, I did I hit that rock there But uh, yeah rock one Here's another tree. Now I didn't do any kind of cleanup, any blowing. Here's 
because it's like a rock and I really probably need to blow some of this off because you can see it kind of formed a trench. Um, it's not going to take long to clean that up though. And then uh, this was the first tree that we started at. So what was that? One, two, three, four. Four trees, two rocks, and we did the and the bird feeder here, which probably was the hardest to do because of this various type of grass that's there. So I'm finished with everything that I wanted to do on the yard. Uh, I have some battery time left, and we're going to get around here, which is what I uh, use a string trimmer for um, to try to clear out all the grass and weed here because I want this to be basically dirt. So we'll see how well it's going to work there. Yeah, Dragon Claw will work um, pretty well. Hopefully you could have seen that. Now it is very dirty to use. Uh, you know, you're going to have uh, dirt all over. You're going to have debris hitting you. So be prepared for that. Um, I think my whole idea on this is going to be uh, how long it takes for the grass to grow back. Um, if it takes a long time, you know, like maybe three or four weeks, or longer maybe I'll probably continue to use Dragon Claw uh, because it's definitely easier to use for getting that kind of stuff done that string trimmer but it's just so dirty so uh, you know there's pros and cons I guess I'll keep it on this attachment because I do have an additional attachment for string trimmer my string trimmer head um, and I guess that's going to be it uh, but yeah I was able to I probably would be able to do this whole job you saw here with a full charge Again, um, I just couldn't do that because I uh, didn't have a full charge last night. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching the video with the 40 volt Ryobi and Dragon Claw. Till next time, have a nice day. Take care.